Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, tonight's video is about this brand new motor, and um, it's based on this one that a lot of you have seen in my previous videos. So, it has a little bit of difference in it. So, this one um, is all starboard, same as the other one. It has much bigger coils, and um, this is one pound each, and um, it's got a quarter inch shaft on it, three quarter inch neo magnet and um, two circuits so each circuit controls one coil and then they're tied together so go around the back um, see the two circuits we have the neon bulbs these are uh, Bedini circuits for those of you who don't know and we have 18 and 26 on the coil so we have the trigger wires and the power wires and then we have generator mode or force mode and SG mode so this would be SG mode and then our typical on and off switch and I have the scope up to it so we can kind of check that out. Uh, we have a replaceable resistor so you could change this out for generator mode or SG mode. And yeah, this spins really smooth. There's no steel in it. The only steel is stainless ring grade. And yeah, let's get this thing fired up. So under no load, you're 7200 RPMs. And this is our input and our charging. You see that kind of reflected in the back here. So no load, you're 600 milliamps and pulsing 2 amps. And uh, what's neat about this is that it's pretty well tuned already. So this is tuned to be the highest speed and lowest amperage. And then as you load it up, it'll go and then it'll kind of kick back and change its, its whole way of running so instead of one pulse per revolution now we're doing like 10 pulses and um, when you use just a straight amp meter this will actually show less but if you look at the cap down as we load it down way much it gets much faster so pretty neat it changes how it goes so that's because of the trigger wire and the generator ignition on it so uh, as you slow it down, the voltage is less, which makes these switches start to oscillate. And then, uh, yeah, it makes a really nice effect. So you can see the blinking of the cap dump. The cap dump is really nice because this motor puts out 500 volts um, when you're not connected to the battery, and this is a good way to convert that into amperage. And the cap dump helps desulfate the batteries as well. So, yeah. So now let's um, do a switch the resistors. And um, we could take this off. So, actually, let me show you this. So, when you go into generator mode, um, the cap dump doesn't work very good because it's way too surgery. So, when you're in generator mode, what you want to do is first get rid of the cap dump. If you're charging 24 volts or more, so this is 12 to 12. So, if you're doing 12 to charge 24 volts or higher um, the cap dump works just fine in generator mode but um, just 12 to 12 you want it like that just straight to is the most efficient way to do it so what we're gonna do is switch this resistor out so like I said if you um, if you have a pot one of these 25 watt um, 1k ones you could just plug this in right here and um, you could really adjust it finally but um, those of you that don't, um, I'll provide a higher resistor that goes right in here for generator mode. And I, I also have those pots on my site, so if any of you guys want to buy them and can't find them, I have those. So we got the higher resistance one, we got in generator mode, so now we're just going to fire this thing up. And um, yeah, so runs way, way slower, so we're, we're about a thousand RPMs or so under generator mode and you can see the waveform so it acts kind of like how SG is uh, when you're loaded up so we're using about 750 milliamps and we're charging uh, right around 650 milliamps so this motor will do um, what I've seen so far up to 80 percent of amperage return to the second battery and then obviously it's higher voltage to be able to charge the battery but as far as the meters go um, you get up to 80%. Um, if you fine-tuned it with a pot, maybe more. 
Um, it just has to be tested and refined and things like that. But yeah, generator mode's really nice. I mean, it's running, you could barely even hear it. Super smooth. And yeah. So, what I'm going to do now is show you guys what it looks like. So, what we're going to do is put this back to SG mode. Switch out this resistor. So, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the screen when the output's not connected. So, we're putting this on 10 times now. So, and disconnect the output, and then you'll be able to see the neon. So, we disconnect it. You can see that right there, and then on the scope, you can see it goes all the way down 500 volts. That's pretty neat. And you don't really want to run that too long. But yeah. Pretty cool. So thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my store.